Hello, everyone. So I am Faza Anwar, and my topic is starting over in Australia, a journey of identity reconstruction and uh, self-esteem restoration in different cultural environment. So um, it's not, um, it's just as it's just my personal story, my personal experience, which I face throughout this transition and still I'm facing, it's not over yet. So uh, the sequence of my uh, open talk and you can see the presentation is that I just want to, um, I'm just going to share my story. Like I just want to a little bit introduce my background and then how I move and transition, um, how my transition happened, then which type of challenges I faced here, and then how I overcome those challenges and what was the outcome in that at last. So the story of transition is, I just introduced a before and then after. After you are not able to see here, we'll discuss it later on when we discuss my challenges and how I am going to overcome those challenges. Before I move into Australia, uh, I am from Pakistan. That culture is entirely different. So I really worked hard over there to establish myself, to establish my identity, to boost my self-esteem. I really worked hard on my educational qualification. Um, I have done masters in educational leadership and management. Then to progress further, I just completed my masters in educational research. And I started, um, uh, uh, with the early years of teaching, but with, uh, with the passage of time and later on, I switched to started working in university. That was also a very different transition because school teaching is entirely different and then university teaching is entirely different. Their environment is different. I really worked hard. And after seven years of working there, one day I came to know that I have to leave everything and I have to move to a different environment, to a different country altogether. So uh, definitely due to my personal reasons, so I have to move from that and, um, environment, from that culture, and I have to leave everything, my university, and I have to move here in Australia. Now, what type of challenges when I move here I face? I faced educational challenges, I faced cultural challenges, and then I faced different language challenges as well. Now, what type of educational challenges I do I face? Although I had a good qualification in, uh, over there in my country, in Pakistan, but I, when I moved here and I thought at that time that I should start working here, uh, since teaching is, is my profession, so when I started to explore here, I came to know if I have to go to the school, then I need a specific registration number. So for that specific uh, registration number, there is a long pathway which I have to opt. I said, okay, I just leave that. Then if I proceed for, I thought that, okay, proceed for the PhD. Why not PhD? So when I got there uh, for the admission and I came to know since in Pakistan, we don't have at that time when I did at that time, we don't have bachelor, bachelor's honors program. We just offer two years bachelor's and then two years master's and then two years MPhil program. Although I had 18 years of qualification, but here they don't understand that thing. They don't relate that thing. And they said, since, see, you, we can offer you a, a PhD program, but you have to take a long pathway. Like you have to do one, to, uh, one year or one and a half year extra, then as, uh, and then that degree lead towards you the PhD program. Obviously these things are really frustrating because over there you, I worked successfully. I was working over there. I don't have, um, I, I never faced these type of issues. And I was about to approach my PhD admission when I have to switch this cultural change and I have to face these type of challenges that really disturbed me a lot. I really feel low, really low at, every minute and second. And I thought, oh, everything is finished. But 
then I feel, but it's not the end of life. Same wise, sometimes I have to face language challenges as well. Although like English is not our first language, we can speak well. We, uh, I, throughout my education and uh, qualifications are in English, but here accent is different. Sometimes they use slang which we are not able to understand. So these all things really uh, create a, such a frustration. And I don't know uh, what can I say, like, but I am just, in every single day, I just have to struggle with so many things. And those inner, inner um, you can say that inner force, or you can say that inner breakdown, that every day that leads towards my, my self-esteem is really badly affected by that. So then one day I just sit down, I just write down my each and every frustrations. And then I thought, uh, just think, see, there are two parts. One, if I'm not going to stand up and I'm not going to face these challenges positively, I am going to be to the, towards the failure but I am not going to be fail. So I just teach myself slowly and gradually this thing, and then I'm able to overcome these challenges one by one. Firstly, the very first step which I've taken, that is the volunteer work. I just started to work with um, different uh, groups who are struggling uh, with the English language, and then they have different sort of issues. So I just started to work with them. In this way, when I listen different stories that motivates me every day, I get motivation from them. Like, then I think, oh, I don't have so many issues. There are people who are uh, fighting for the basic things, who are really in uh, facing the problems for the basic uh, needs of the life. So then I started intercultural communication. I tried to manage to make friends who are from different cultures, even from the, uh, the native people here. Then I just try to assimilate myself with the environment. So I analyze that what is their requirement? What is the job market? What are their demands? So Although these things are also really frustrating at times because whenever I used to apply, I really feel, feel uh, or face unsuccessful outcome. When you face unsuccessful outcome, obviously that create and leads a lot of frustration uh, in you. But I consistently, as doc, I really uh, agreed with so many points with Dr. Archibong because when she was telling her story, so I thought it's just a reflection. I, I thought that, oh my God, I, I also face this thing. I also face this thing. And when she said that as a black woman, you lose every day and you gain every day, I, I must say every migrant woman faced this thing. So we lose every day and we have to gain every day. We face so many challenges every day. Then we have to regain our energy. We have to boost up and then we have to again stand up and then we have to start our journey again. So um, in this way, I just try to apply again and again, learn the way, understand their way of application. Like what is their demand? How we have to... Um, you can say analyze or highlight our strengths, how I can connect my knowledge experience along with the skills, along with their demands. So when I started doing these things and then I started my master's in educational research, then I have done certification four in training and assessment. I have started to gain my knowledge, increase my knowledge. So that will lead towards a positive outcome. And the outcome is that, that I have got a good job over there as a trainer and assessor um, in uh, educational sector. So it's not like that, that now there are no challenges. Yes, I can say that the first, I can overcome the first stage of uh, challenges 
now but yes during uh, doing that job working with within that culture i really faced different challenges those challenges are entirely different but at least i can say i have a sense of achievement and that sense of achievement helped me in building and boosting my identity reconstruction and then boosting my self esteem and then another thing i'm also try to use my utilize my strengths like i'm a hard working person okay fine whatever the work is sometimes it happened that we don't we have a short of time i try to prove myself to complete that assignment within that time then i share different things different positive things with them with the with my high authorities slowly and gradually when sharing these things that will definitely help me and still i'm learning and helping these things and try to inculcate and assimilate with their environment but in this way at least i have tried my that negative failure complete failure into the positive aspect or you can say a positivity um or i can achieve you can say uh, the first step or milestone of my life so it's not a long thing so that is the outcome of the story that now i am happy i feel more confident that in other country in other um, with so many cultural barriers with so many things i at least achieved my first milestone so this is all about the identity reconstruction and self esteem of myself that's it thank you